as you've heard, welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons. As you can see, it is Sunday morning. I did want to record an episode on today because apparently there's a there's somebody who will visit only on Sunday morning, so I want to see if we can't find that person. But along with it, we have some Nook Shopping. It is Soulful KK that we got um, last episode. It's been a day or two since I last played, so might have missed out on some things, but we'll find out. Happy Home Academy is going to give us something um, rank S. Congratulations. You've got a bed, a chair, a table, and a closet. Your home is homier than ever. Enjoy the included gift and keep making that home happy. All right, then. This is probably another um, plaque, but it's still cool to get. And we get a letter from Biff. Get it done, Zebra? Of course you are, and to inspire, and you inspire me to get it done, too. I'm way more ripped for being your friend. I run more laps, bench more weight, do more reps, long letter short. I got you a gift to say thanks. Thanks. Even ever stronger, Biff. All right, well, thank you so much, buddy. I appreciate it. So yeah, let's take a look at that. Um, we got our Soulful KK, which I'll definitely have to register. We get um, Retro Stereo. Oh, really? And Skull Door Plate. Interesting. So I'll definitely check out all that, but of course we're gonna be going through with the game normally today and just trying to uh, get as much money as we can, get everything done that we normally do, but hopefully you can find whatever characters walk around the village that's supposed to be you know, here at this time of day, at, on this specific day. Um, I'm not really sure, but there's also gonna be oranges and stuff to get, so that's cool. But uh, yeah, probably gonna be a pretty busy day then, which will be awesome, I'm always glad to see that. Uh, but maybe before we get too many oranges and stuff, we should just take a run around and see if we can't find that character. Um, cause I'm definitely curious about it. Here's Stu. Hey buddy. Hey Zebra, thanks for saying hi. Let's chat. The best part of taking a nap at a tree is how tree, the tree puts you on the ground just before you wake up. Yeah, you've told me about that before. Hey, yo, what's new, bro? Did you hear? There's some land for sale on the island. I mean, somebody new will move here soon. I can't wait to meet whoever buys it. I'll show them all the good places to, to smell stuff on the island. <laughs> yeah, there's plenty of good smells on the island, including the fresh scent of brand new bells grown from the ground. Hmm, interesting. Oh, there's Apple. Is she on the other side of the, the river? Yeah, she is. Okay, so I'll talk to her later. Got plenty of oranges and pears and stuff have been regrown. I've been thinking about, oh, hi. Oh, you're so cute, you little piggy. So you're Daisy May. Hello there, I'm Daisy May. I'm helping Graham Graham Joanne out, uh, selling her garden-grown turnips. I'm here every Sunday morning selling tur selling turnips. Uh, so swing on by to tell to see me when you can. Selling what do turnips really do though? Can't you sell them to Timmy and Tommy? Ah, oh, fooey, Daisy May, you forgot the sales pitch. Graham Graham's told me enough times. I ought to remember how this goes down by now. So, do you want to hear about how so how so Joanne's stock market works? Yes, please. Um, okay, you can do this. <laughs> She's so cute. I can't not buy all of her turnips. So, turnips are cute little root vegetable that are grown for pickling and or stewing. Ah, Grand Grandma always says that the stock market turnips are for sale and not eaten. I always forget. Anyway, if you time things right, they can be mighty nutritious for your bank account. Should I keep going with the explanation? Let's hear it. Okay, now let's see then. Oh yeah, the whole point of buying out our turnips is so that you can turn around and sell them at a profit. Graham Graham's always say, says some, something about them turning up a profit. <laughs> turnips, turning up a profit, okay. Graham Graham's always says something about them turning up a profit, I don't exactly get it. Anyway, you know Timmy, right? He's always in the market for buying when it comes time for you to be selling. Should I keep going? Let's hear it. Okay, this is a real important part, so I'm gonna try my best to explain carefully. You don't wanna buy these turnips and keep them for too long. They'll rot after one week. So if you buy some for me on Sunday, you gotta remember to sell them before the next Sunday. Graham Grams always says there's nothing worse than a tent full of rotten turnips, but it ain't true. Losing all those hard-earned bells you spent on them is worse. Okay, that's the whole speech. So, right now the turnips are going for 100 bells. Do you wanna buy some? Yeah, sure, why not? Well, let's, let's get this experience. Uh, great, how many should I put you down for? They're 100 bells each, but we sell in bundles in 10. Okay, I was gonna say, I would like to buy 10 turnips. I mean, maybe I should buy a little bit more, not 150, but maybe just 50? Sure. All right, so 50 turnips comes to 5,000 bells. Does that sound okay to you? Yeah, I'll buy them. <laughs> come again. All right, so here's your money. And here are my turnips. Thank you very much. Turnips, turnips, watch them rise. Try to earn a nice surprise. 
So how this works is it's really just investing. You put your money into the turnips and you hope that uh, that they come back at a better price. Um, I don't know if it's probably the most effective way. I probably shouldn't put all my money into it because what if in the next week the turnip prices don't go up? I think that's sort of the big catch is that they rot. If I could hold on to them forever until the price is higher, then, then it would just be totally fine just to buy a bunch of them and just wait for that moment to happen. But since I do have that sort of time period where things could go wrong and I could be unlucky, I don't think it's worth putting too much money in there, but it is definitely something I'll keep in mind. Um, maybe every once in a while on Sunday when we have the extra cash, we can just sign on and buy some more turnips and sell them to Timmy and Tommy. Um, we will have to see then um, what the prices currently are because I wouldn't mind just making a quick turnaround right now if it is higher. Because that's sort of the thing, right? Depending on what the prices are today, if they're any higher than 100, what, what would happen? I don't know. Um, if they're any higher than 100, then I could just keep buying and selling, buying and selling infinitely, because I would still make a return. Um, I don't know if the game works that way. It probably doesn't, because that'd be pretty broken, um, but you never know. Uh, anyways, there's a fossil for us, and I do hear a present somewhere. Okay, it's over there. Let's go and get it. It's yellow, so it should be money. And we also got some Nook Miles, I think, for buying the turnips. There we go. So we'll open that up in just a moment. I just wanted to shake this tree as well. But yeah, we got lots to do in today's episode, but I'm so glad we got to meet Daisy May. She's adorable. Uh, but this is an ice hockey uniform, so it's not money. Huh, fancy. Uh, I don't think I need it too much. Not really super into ice hockey. And what do we got going on here? Miles for st stockholders. I have Nook Miles to give to any resident who purchases turnips. Buy them low, sell them high, and make a handsome profit. They'll rot in a week though, so be careful. So obviously it's sort of a reference to the real life stock market, and says stock market. Um, but you know, like obviously that's like, it works a little bit differently. Oh, this is a new butterfly. You're mine. No wait, you're mine. Thank you. Oh, so cute. Look at this, yes. I caught a great purple emperor. It's, pur it's purple rain is over now. Oh, look at him, he's enjoying those smells he was talking about before. <laughs> but yeah, with the stock market, and oh no, real life, uh, obviously, your stocks just don't go away after a week, luckily. There we go. Um, yeah, we're just gonna keep running around, trying to get some flowers through all the stuff that we normally do, just so that we can make some extra money today, and maybe we can use that to buy even more turnips, like I said. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. I can only imagine that whatever she is selling them at, that's what Timmy and Tommy are buying it at. Or maybe even lower, you know? So if they, I don't know if they wanna sell it to Daisy May, I don't think she would buy. She's trying to sell them. Anyways, we'll take some of these. These flowers are really pretty though. These are the new ones we just planted and they look really nice. Oh, look at Gigi with the little glasses. What is she looking at? She's looking at a bug. Ah, oh, I scared it off, really? She was closer to it than I was. Why, you seem well, don't you, Rivette? Let's chat. First, I'll alphabetize my purse collection, then I'll, oh, hello. I do hope your day isn't as busy as mine. I mean, it's pretty busy, but I'm enjoying it. Hmm. So I probably missed a couple of uh, flowers and there was some more fruit that I definitely have to grab. But then we'll go to the stores and stuff and we'll check things out. Um, I'll wanna go to Timmy and Tommy, see what they actually accept the turnips for. I want to uh, see if there's anything, oh my gosh, I keep doing that today. Um, I wanna see if there's anything new at uh, the Able Sisters. But yeah, Stu's is really chilling out over there. Seems to be enjoying his day. Let's go ahead and Okay, that one's not too helpful. <laughs> Need to do it like this and like that. And let's see if this is a money rock or not. It's not. <laughs> I'll have to keep searching around for that. But there's also like a couple of pairs up there to the to the top right. And if we have any extra time today, I don't really know if we will, but if we do, I would love to go to a new island. I'm still looking for that last villager. I really don't know who it's gonna end up being. It might just end up being like Gigi where she just sort of moves in. If that happens, then it happens. But in the meantime, Let's dig that up, I didn't mean to do that. Let's get some pears. And then there's another rock down this way. There might be a couple of other things as well. We've already found one fossil, so I'm looking for at least three more. Okay, ready? Boop. And boop. Perfect. 
Yeah, Daisy May's really sweet. I think that, like, like she was saying, I think her mother or grandmother, whatever it was, actually has been in some of the older games before. I think it's like that for a couple of the characters. Um, I think CJ has like a father that was in one of the older games. So it's just, it's really cool how that works, right? <laughs> Anyways, uh, oh yeah, let's talk to Biff because he sent us that nice letter. I want to say thank you for that. <laughs> what if we gifted him when he gave us? Would he be upset? Would he notice? I don't imagine he would notice, but you never know. Uh, hey, Biff, always crafting something. And there we go. All right, Zebra, need something? What you up to? You're not gonna believe it, I made a tulip crown. I was out jogging the other day and somewhere around the 53rd mile, inspiration just hit me. Or it could have been, the, been dehydration. You need to hydrate when you're jogging. Either way, check it out and stay hydrated. Building it was like a hard workout routine and you know I'm all about sharing my routines. So what do you say, you wanna get built making yourself a tulip crown? Teach me. Well, I could, or I could give you this paper that I wrote the recipe on. I vote for the paper. As long as you can read my handwriting, you've got this. Alrighty, cool. So there we go, thank you, Biff. Appreciate your generosity today between that and the letter. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and check out uh, what's going on with the Miles Plus. Uh, we talked to some villagers, we get double Miles for that. Um, and there's a couple of things, we need to catch four bugs, uh, plant flower seeds, earn bells by selling items, grow fruit trees, okay. Definitely we'll do some of that then. Oh, it's also, did we do this rock? Yeah, we did, okay. So this side of this corner is pretty much done. We can go over here now, uh, shake this up. And then we'll talk to Kyle as well. I'm sure he's doing something very Kyle-like. Guess we gotta go find out though. Maybe he's crafting something as well. <gasps> you never know. Nope, he's not. He's just chilling out. Hey, buddy. Welcome to the Casa de Kyle. That's Spanish for Kyle's crib. Uh, what's the latest? So how'd you do in the big eval? You know, the Happy Home Academy inspection? I'm pretty happy with mine. I don't want to say best in show, but I know we're all thinking it. Yeah, I mean, honestly, you have my fav the favorite house out of all the villagers so far. Uh, Alpha, what have you gotten yourself into? Let's talk. If you want to know what time it is, I'll be honest with you, I have no idea. Since moving to Stripe, time has become more of an abstract concept for me. I spend my days counting butterflies instead of minutes on the clock. The sun wakes me up and the moon puts me to sleep. I feel so liberated, Alpha. That said, what time is it? Um, well, it's 11.29 a.m. Can I play your guitar? Oh. You should hear the sweet sounds I can produce with an electric guitar. What, right now, um, I already played today, so I can't again for a while. Can I play? <laughs> oh, got a bit of a jam going on. Awesome. That was cool. Uh, I really can't wait to have a room like that. Uh, we're working on it. I hope that they sell a drum kit soon. That'd be amazing. What else is going on around here? We definitely need to check the beach. Got a bunch of cherry trees. I definitely want to try to profit from. I need to make like a whole row of cherry trees, and just I feel like that'd be really profitable. So, yeah, we'll work on that. But right now, though, shaking this up. Oh, here's another fossil spot. Um, I'll get that in just a second. I need to uh, shake all these up. There we go. And then just run through again and <laughs> pick them all up. Because these are all like, what, 500 each? So that would mean there'd be 1,500 bells a tree. There is one, two, three, four trees. So that is uh, 6,000 bells, yeah? I think so. Pretty cool. Thank you. And right over this way there's a rock and then we'll go talk to Pashmina. Almost done with talking to all the villagers today. Because after that I think it's just, oh no, I'm doing this at the wrong spot, whoops. Uh, Pashmina, um, Apple, and Celia. But I did get a gold nugget, that's good. Can I get more than one? Nope, all right. Well, we're slowly building our collection of those. Always good to see. I'm just gonna grab all of these and let's say hi to Pashmina. Oh, oh, sorry. I guess you'll know I'm coming in now with my shovel. Oh boy. And she's just chilling out. Oh, is she cleaning it up in here? She's got a little duster. Sub Zebra, glad you swung by, kidders. I want to chat. 
hey, I'm trying to be more neighborly and get to know folks better, and I want to know about you. That cool? Of course it is. All right, uh, what should I ask you about? Oh, hey, I know Kidders. What are you best at? Like, what's your special talent? Cooking, playing guitar, fixing things, something else. Uh, probably, I mean, I'm an okay cook. I, I don't really know how to play guitar, but maybe one day. Uh, fixing things, uh, not really. I mean, it depends on the thing, I suppose. And something else, let's try something else. Uh, oh, I can say whatever. I don't, what is my special talent? <laughs> I don't, I feel like I'm pretty good, like, I don't know. Some people consider this a talent, some people might not. But I think one of my personal biggest strengths is that I just enjoy being myself, and I don't let anything sort of get in the way of that. Be myself, eh? Yeah. Nice, I didn't think anyone here was gonna be, okay, maybe grammatically I could've ordered it better. <laughs> Did you like go off some secret hideout and train under the Ruthless Master uh, for a few years to learn, learn that? Well, not exactly, but it did take time. I mean, I think that it's definitely something that comes with time. Uh, Cause there's a lot of times I know personally that I've been filled with self doubt and the fear of being more like myself and what makes me happy because I would fear either the judgment of others or, you know, the worry that people wouldn't accept me how I am, but at this point, you know, I've just grown to love myself. And I think that that is a talent because that takes a lot of effort. That's not something that just happens. It's always something you have to maintain. Sort of like a garden, like with these flowers. Anyways, <laughs> that was, I don't know if that's like a proper answer to having a talent, but <laughs> you know what, it's my answer. Anyways, let's go into, into since we're already here, let's go into Nook's Cranny. Um, we'll see what they have in store for us today, literally. Hi guys. Hello, hello. Welcome to Nook's Cranny. So, oh, there's another guitar. It is a very different guitar than the one we have, so I might get it. Seems like you're interested in metal can. Well, I'm more interested in what's inside the metal can. Nothing? That is 600 bells. I think I'll pass, but interesting. And then this is like some kind of little wooden box. A sturdy sewing box. Interesting. I'm not gonna be doing too much sewing, but it looks cool. Looks like an antique. That does not look like a comfortable bed. Oh, okay, I see those little cushions. I thought it was just like a wooden slab. A tatami bed. Uh, there's unlimited supplies. I think I'll pass on that one. I'm sure I'll find the bed for me eventually. We're open! That's an interesting one. I don't know if that fits with the aesthetic of my town, but I'm tempted, the diner neon sign. Um, 3,900 bells, I'll pass for now, but yeah. What I'm worried about is this is usually where the expensive item is. Electric guitar. 71,000 bells for that guitar. While I do want, you know, a pretty good music room, I already have a guitar. I don't really know if I need a, a guitar that expensive. So I think I'll take a pass for it. Now, maybe I'll decide again later. Uh, I don't see anything else going on here. Oh, we got, the, we already got the zebra flooring, so don't have to worry about that. Maybe the simple white flooring, because that's like more of a carpet. I'll buy it. 1500 bucks is actually pretty pricey for it. I'm carrying too many things. Okay, I should sell to you first. Um, and then I also need to see what the turnip prices will be. Um, I wanna sell. Now, we have a policy of not buying turnips on Sundays. Ah, see, I told you there'd be some kind of catch about that. I'm sure you understand. Uh, so, what would you like to sell? That way they can't sell the turnip price at too high of a cost on the day you could buy turnips. Say, say even if it was like 101 bells. If we could buy a turnip for 100 bells and then sell it at 101, we could rinse and repeat that process infinitely over time and make like an increasingly more amount of money, you know? So just, that's where that gets interesting. Anyways, I'll keep the two cherries because I do want to plant some more uh, fruit trees. Maybe some more pears as well. Uh, but for right now I can sell some, and the coconuts I'll sell. Um, the shells, definitely the flowers. Seems good. How much money will that be? Uh, 11,460 bells, sold. Okay, so I'll be back again soon, selling more stuff. But uh, yeah, we can't sell turnips today. I will definitely just keep at that, and hopefully eventually we can sell them for more than 100 bells each. I mean, obviously we wanna wait for a good margin. If it's just 100, you know, 101 bells and we bought 50 turnips, that means we only make 50 bells out of it, right? So we probably want a larger margin of profit. But hey, I'll take anything I can get, really. Uh, so there we go. Got Nook Miles there. Looks like that's about all I'm taking there. Hmm. 
Let's run along the beach real quick, because I didn't check to see if there was any messages in the bottle, I don't think. Or maybe I did, I don't remember. No, I definitely checked down this way. So I'll leave all that be, and I think we're good to go up this way and check out the next corner of the island. Sounds good to me. Of course, there were Gigi's houses. What if I made, I think, this area, and I just made this like a strip of trees? I think that'd be pretty good. So I probably wanna um, change some things up here, for sure. So I think I'll start working on that in just a moment. Maybe I'll actually eat some of these oranges so that I can um, figure that out and just start digging these trees up and stuff. But in the meantime, definitely need to collect the oranges. I need to get this weed real quick. There we go. And uh, get all that done. So we already talked to Gigi, so it's no big deal that she's not here. Okay, so dig right there, turn, and let's get started. Not the money rock, which means there's only two other rocks that can possibly be. Either the one near the other residence or uh, the one on the hill. Oh, I didn't get the last one. Hmm, weird. I'm not sure. Anyways, with that out of the way, we're going to uh, eat some of those oranges. So I think there's like five trees around here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and eat up five oranges. Just like that. Okay. And then two more. But it's weird that I guess, like it says I have five turnips, but I guess each turnip is technically a bundle of 10 of them. Okay, so we can just start digging these trees up whole. It's just a little bit quicker than doing it any other way. I mean, I guess. I, I, I guess it's more or less the same amount of time when you factor in the fact that I had to also, uh, what's it called? I also had to eat the oranges. But hey, it should be fine. So I actually do need one more orange to dig up this one. So let's do that really quickly. Uh, no, not the cherries. That would be a waste of money just to eat those. Eat one. Okay. So like I said, I'm just gonna start from, I'm also gonna dig this up. I don't know if these pine trees will grow on the floor here. Maybe they only grow up on the hill. But starting from about here, I think, we can just start digging up cherries and stuff. Um, that's a little bit off. I need them about here because I don't want them too close to the shoreline because I just don't know if that'll work. Um, but I can just plant one. Yeah, I don't know exactly where they need to be, but I'm guessing that I could maybe do like a zigzag in a way. I don't know, maybe that's not the best way to do it. Just trying to find out like what's gonna work, you know, is a little tricky. Plant that. I think that's far enough away. Like maybe it isn't. I'm trying to. It gets a little weird, right? So like, how many spots away should I make it? I was thinking two. I'm just thinking sort of to keep like an understanding of the distance. Because this is yeah, that's two spaces away. This is th going to be three. We'll see. We'll see if that works. Like, how far does the tree need to be away from it to actually work? That's what I wanna find out right now. Um, so I might just keep it like that for now and we'll grow more soon once I find out how close a tree can be to itself. To another one, I mean. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and grow fruit trees. There we go. What else can we do? Um, I definitely wanna capture a memory. There we go. So with that, 100 miles. Yeah, we got, we got a lot of miles. We definitely need to start spending some of those soon. But in the meantime, what's going on with the rest of this part of the island? I can get an orange, or a couple of oranges. Don't pick up the flamingo by mistake. I do that too often. I really do like how our camping area has turned out. I do want to move this out. I feel like this is a little too far. Perfect. That's a lot more well aligned. And I was thinking that eventually I probably want to set up some flowers around here. Maybe those flowers that I have randomly strewn about a little bit over, maybe I can move those. Also, is the sandcastle still here? It is. I think the sandcastle would be better near the uh, beach chair, so I'm gonna move that over. But I do want to get started with the, at some point, maybe in today's episode, maybe in another one, I wanted to figure out 
the junkyard idea, because I really do think that'll help us up our star power a little bit. Anyways, there is that. But I'm sure that at some point or another, our star ranking will go up from one to two, right? You would have to hope so, but I don't know. Anyways, there's lots going on around here. We got our third fossil, right? Or was that our second? That was our second fossil, okay. But the third one is up there, that's what I saw. Okay, I was like, huh. There's one up there, but I, I might have to go back and sell some stuff again, or at least organize my inventory a little because we're filled up again. So you know what, I'm gonna go do that real quick. Okay, so let's sell a couple of things to Timmy and Tommy now that I got my inventory organized. It's not too much for right now. We will have to come back later. But if I could just sell them the oranges, the rest of the pears, um, I think that would be good just to get it out of the way. Um, and just like the trees, the trees that I don't need. I need to make sure not to sell this bug. I need to donate that. Okay. That shouldn't be a ton, but it should be at least a couple thousand more. Yeah, 7,000. I'll do it. Okay, see ya. <laughs> So I'm gonna go back to where that fossil was and do that, and then we got a couple more things to figure out. Okay, so we were heading up this way just for that fossil spot, and then there's a couple more things around here, I'm sure. Well, there's the one rock, but keep in mind there's not too many fruit trees up here, or any, really. So we should be fine with just, you know, running through. Uh, but let's get this stick, and this one over this way. Oh, there's another one. I'm trying to keep on top of collecting the sticks. I sort of fell through with that for a while, and I feel like Eventually, if I'm gonna start crafting again, which I'm sure I will eventually need to. Oh, I didn't set up the, the holes. Oh no, so I won't be able to get the full set of money here. That's a shame. But I can still, you know, make a decent amount. Ah, yeah. Oh well. Wasn't thinking about it. We're still over 30,000 bells, it's pretty good, right? Uh, but yeah, I, I, I feel like eventually we're gonna have to start crafting. So I'm going to need the sticks, so I really should be collecting them whenever I see them. Especially now, I have more inventory space than ever. It was a bit tough when I didn't have very much inventory space. They really don't start you out with very much, but now it's much more manageable with four rows. Hi, hi, Celia. How are you doing? Uh, well, hello, feathers. Let's talk. I'm glad the we for weather like this, uh, that's perfect for air drying my laundry. <laughs> I agree. What's on your mind, feathers? Let's talk. Having an inclined path makes it easier for everyone to reach higher ground, so I'm grateful for that. Looks like we're all moving up in the world, Feathers. I agree. Yeah, definitely having the uh, the incline has been a really cool addition to the town. The villagers have been able to explore more and I wanna continue to enable that if we could get more um, inclines and bridges and stuff, that'd be really cool. Okay, so uh, I should probably catch some bugs while I'm up here since it is a uh, daily double quest. And there's another fossil and another one down that way. So yeah, we're actually really uh, stacking up with that today, awesome. So let's grab this one and then we'll go grab the other one once we're closer to the beach. But this is fossil number four, right? No, that's fossil number five. So number six is down that way. Awesome. I'm really happy about that. So we got lucky with the fossils today, getting a whole bunch of them. Um, and there's still other parts to explore, so there could technically be more. I'm not expecting it, but definitely possible. So you're going over here and then up on top of this place. I don't think there's gonna be much, but might as well check. Maybe there'll be an extra stick or two. Oh, scared away the bug. It was a stink bug anyways. Probably gonna stink up our whole inventory. All right, yeah, there's not too much going on here except for that one stick that we found. That's fine. So we're just gonna go right down like this. And then down, no, 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 no. Hold on, what are you doing? Turn around and then do the ladder. Perfect. So now I can switch over to the shovel. And while we're searching the beach, I know we'll be coming up on that fossil spot right here. There we go, so fossil number six. How cool is that? Now we haven't found a message in a bottle or, oh, hi Apple, how are you doing? Zebra, how goes Project KK, Cheekers? I'm working on it. I'm obviously excited for the concept, but I'm like just as excited for you to build the power spot. Oh, I've got something good here, take this too. All right, so what is this? Oh, it's a recipe. My lucky item today is a recipe for a shell stool. I was planning on making it myself, but this whole combo is like fate. You should have it. Craft it up and put it somewhere so cool. Everyone will say, look at this, look at that. It's so fab. All right then, I definitely will. Um, so let's get that shell stool and learn that one. And then also we have this message bottle. 
Hello, faraway friend. Our weather was so nice out today that I went for a long walk. On my walk, I thought of this DIY recipe. This seemed like a good way of passing along my recipe idea. Try it if you have the materials. Best wishes, Sally. All right then. Knitted grass backpack. Huh, okay, sweet. I learned a DIY recipe for a knitted grass backpack. That's cool, I'm guessing that will be with like uh, weed clumps and stuff. So, there's Daisy May again. I already bought turnips from you, I don't plan on buying too many more for right now. Maybe next week, but we'll have to wait and see. Anyways, only a couple more things to do, a couple more fruit trees to figure out. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, and also this money tree. Awesome. So let's just real quick. Uh, burying a hole. Perfect. And I think that we're basically done with the shovel. I guess for this one rock, we gotta get that. But in the meantime, got the blue bottle. Is that my last one? I don't think so. I think I need to catch one more bug for the daily challenge to be done. Let's make sure we grab these weeds that are starting to grow back too. Don't want that happening. I want my town looking pristine. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see too much more, except for a couple orange trees here waiting for us. I think we're basically figured out. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. It's already been a very productive day. We're gonna keep working on it. I'm scaring away all the bugs today. There we go. Uh, and is that number five, I think? Yep, okay, so that is 300 miles right there. Okay, so some pretty simple stuff after that that I'll continue to work on. For right now though, we've definitely explored all of the islands, so I don't think there's any more potential uh, fossils to find. We'll have to get all six of these uh, assessed, so that'll be pretty good. Oh, does, oh no, Stu has some fleas. Let's help him out. Ready? No, 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 oh, everything itches! I've been taking a bath, I even thought about about using soap, itchy itch! No, I'm trying to, what, what is going on with that? I don't know, oh, did I get it? I got it for you. I caught a flea, the curse is lifted. Whoa, there was a flea crawling on me? Yuck, fleas are the only gross bugs. Well, ooh, now it's gone now, thanks, Zebra. You're my hero, ooh. All right then, cool. So also, yeah, while we're here, let's check out the Evil Sisters. I don't have too much inventory space at the moment, but I've been meaning to check them out. They're right here in front of us. Let's do it now. Oh, so you guys have quite the selection. Hey there, welcome to Able Sisters, where we sell fashions made lovingly by Claw. So we have some inventory space. I'm sure we can make something work. So that stuff is still the same, but it looks like, hmm, that's an interesting shirt. Uh, a nurse's jacket. No, I think I'll pass. But, yeah, a lot of the same designs up here too. Nothing too crazy this time, but we can always go check out the little wardrobe here. And this is usually just a quicker way to sort of see it all anyways. Make it to see different colors. So you got like the military uniform, uh, the nurse's jacket. Um, we still have the mountain park up this way too. Uh, sleeved apron, uh, sweatshirts, just basic sweatshirts, text shirt, um, chain pants. A court skirt, outdoor shorts, punk pants, uh, chic tuxedo dress, <laughs> interesting. Uh, dandy hat, that is dandy. Um, floral hairpin, uh, outdoor hat, facial mask. Oh, so like, like uh, they help with your pores or whatever. It's supposed to be like a, a beauty product. Interesting. Uh, sporty shades, hand knit socks, uh, Pattern stockings, stretch leggings. So yeah, there's a lot of cool new things. But what about the shoes? We got loafers, uh, trekking shoes again, water shoes, winkle pickers as per usual. So nothing too crazy. Um, nothing I def desperately want there, but always good to you know check every day and sort of build up our little collection with that. Uh, I will definitely come again, don't you worry. Every day that I can, I will. And, uh, we'll run over to our buddy. Oh, we missed an orange tree. Let's make sure we get that. And also, let's go in and say hi to Blathers. Hopefully expand our fossil collection a little bit. If all six of these are fossils we already have, I'm gonna be pretty disappointed, but it's possible, so I gotta be careful. 
Ooh. All right, good morning. So, assess fossils. We have six of them right here. Wait, oh yeah, I was gonna say, why can't I donate the butterfly? We're not donating anything right now, we're just assessing. So there we go. Yes, something here is not a part of our collection. That's all I hope to see. Okay, so definitely, let's just make a donation and donate it. I have two. We got the right megaloside and the plesio body and the great purple emperor. Awesome. Yep, yep, yep. So we have an extra bug and two new fossils. Beyond that, we are just gonna head out of here and see what's going on with everything else. Hopefully I can sell the remaining four fossils and make some good money. Um, and then we'll also see what's going on at the main Nook Center. Maybe, just maybe, we actually have enough to um, have a two star rating. I don't think so, but I think that if we go and make a junkyard, maybe that would help. You would think that a junkyard is not something that would improve a town, but at the same time, Animal Crossing is a little weird, isn't it? So, uh, Packy Skull, uh, Left Terra Wing, Dinoni Tail, um, also some bugs, for sure, and the shells. Uh, Ankylo Skull, oranges, oranges, butterfly, flea, seems pretty good to me. Alrighty, here you go. Look at all the fine things you've brought in today. Allow me just a moment to run the numbers. And done, 18,050 bells, sold. Excellent, so the 50,000 bells today, that's really good. We'll see what uh, uh, the town center has for us, if anything, and then we'll go and try to add more stuff to our town. Yep, just right over this way. Hi, Apple, excuse me. I'm not sure if there's gonna be too much in here, but it's always worth checking the lost and found and stuff, see if there's anything that we can find for ourselves. Uh, just some clay, okay. Still, it's a base material we need. And I know this is starting all over again. We were so close to getting a, a 300, you know, seven day streak. Oh well, that'll look next time. Is there anything new here? I don't know if I have the coral, corral, no, I do have the corral fence. Yep, okay, never mind. Nope. All right then. Then still, I just, I wanna keep saving my bells until I have like a comfortable, a really comfortable amount to make extra sure. Uh. Anything new here that I really want? Marine Song 2001, I don't think I have this. We're gonna find out. Okay. So we're gonna sign off, and what we're gonna do now is I actually wanna go back to our house, and in our storage, we have a lot of items I haven't really decided whether or not I wanna keep or not. A lot of those items can be just placed outside. The more items I place outside, the better the town does. So I'm hoping that if I do that, we can get a better town ranking, even if it is just random stuff strewn about. I don't usually like doing that, but I feel like it's really important that we, to move on with the game that we do do that. So yeah, that's what I'm just trying to figure out. Okay, on, on another note, this is one of the things we got, I think, from the Happy Home Academy, and I love it, they know my tastes. <laughs> we got a retro stereo for the music room. I gotta, I gotta put that in there, because it's just, it's a little bit more fitting than a record player, I think. Well, I mean, at the same time, I don't know. But uh, we'll just put it in here for now, because it's cool. Retro stereo, place it in there, and I could, you know, play music with that, too. Could we play a different song on this than that? So one thing that's interesting, you really have to listen for it, but if I put this out, and then I put this out too, it'll start playing in like surround sound. And it's just like a little bit louder. I don't know if you put a bunch in, would it be really loud? I don't know if I wanna find out, but that's interesting. Uh, so at this point, um, I do wanna see what the skull door plate is, because I have no clue. Uh, skull door plate. There's no place to hang this. Um, okay. Let's try here. Welcome. <laughs> All right, sure, why not? Um, I'm gonna put these away. And I don't think I can put these, I can eat them. Don't eat them, that'd be a huge waste of bells. But I need to find a place to put them on the floor so that they're not taking my inventory. So, actually, it doesn't matter too much. We've already done all of our inventory consuming things, so never mind. Um, so I just wanna go through my inventory now. I'm gonna pick out some things that I definitely think, okay, those could probably just be put outside for now because nobody's gonna take them or anything. So yeah, I'll start working on that. 
So I have a bunch of stuff, and like I said, we're just gonna be putting that at the very tippity top for right now, and just sort of see what ends up happening with that. I also wanna see, is there any kind of cool thing I wanna craft that we maybe have gotten recently, uh, or obtained? Is there anything new here? I'm like, ooh, I want. Uh, that, that backpack is pretty cool. But I think that, like, mostly, not really. Like, maybe the, the, the rock at some point, the mossy golden garden rock or something. I don't know. Uh, or maybe even the hedges. I could see the hedges looking better than even the uh, bushes I have set up. Especially, like, next to the museum and stuff. So, I'm definitely going to consider those. Maybe for next episode, we'll do, like, a full town sprucing or something. I really don't know. But, yeah, I'm pretty happy with, like, some of the things we've done. <laughs> in today's episode, it's been cool. Cause you can see, I sort of have like a hedge next to the house here. And that doesn't look so bad. Anyways, uh, wrong thing. I need to go to the vaulting pole, a vault over, and then we're gonna need the ladder to get all the way up there. And this isn't permanent and it's not gonna look very pretty. This is literally just to um, try to up our star ranking because I feel like I'm struggling with it and it's something we need to do to like move on with the game. Um, but we're just gonna like place an item and then just put it in the corner. And as far as I understand, like the game can't tell th whether or not it's aesthetically pleasing because that's sort of up to personal preference. So maybe I really did just want a really messy area up here, you know? Who knows? So I'm just gonna put all this stuff up here and we'll sort of see how that goes. Utility sink, and this stuff, like some of this stuff I might eventually get rid of, like, and just realize, you know, hey, I don't really need this. Or maybe I will use it in my house for something. I'm not really sure. Definitely one of these sinks I want to use for like a kitchen. Probably the utility sink. Um, a bidet, <laughs> a toilet. I don't suggest anybody use it, but yeah, you can actually go to the bathroom out here. Bathroom sink. All right, drying rack. Uh, tape deck. Yeah, a lot of I got a lot of the music stuff. I wonder if we can make a little concert area up here. That would be cool, actually. I think that's what we'll put here eventually too, maybe is if we do like a full on, oh gosh, it's all playing over itself. Uh... Oh no, <laughs> now it's haunted. Um, <laughs> but if we did like a full on concert area up here with like a stage and everything, I don't know if that's actually possible, but that'd be really cool for sure. Uh, anyways, placing this Monstera. <laughs> what am I doing? Um, a cypress plant. Can I put that there? Sure, why not? Uh, pinball machine. I love that. Uh, Mama Panda. Oh, that's cute. Uh, flashy flower sign. Sand cast. Actually, no, I wanted that for the beach. What else do we have? Uh, judge's bell. This is just noise mountain. You just go up here to hear noise now. Rover's briefcase, which I can't really do anything with. It's just sort of like a little aesthetic thing. Um, and then finally, hamster cage. Awesome. So maybe with all that stuff just hanging out over here, you never know. Maybe we'll get up to two stars. That's all I want, just to get to two stars. <laughs> oh, do we have that? Yeah, we have that green butterfly, right? I should go back up there to make extra sure though. Oh, don't fly off the side. Oh, come on, come on, come on, ready? Yeah, oh, come on. I just got back up here specifically for you and then you go down. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm so bad with the controls with this game. Really? There we go, see was that so complicated? Uh, we got the Roger Brooks bird one, yep. But I had to make sure. Let's get our vaulting pole out and we are just going to move Whoa, sort of stuck, there we go. Uh, down to the beach, put down that sand castle, and then talk to Isabel, and see if she might be able to hire, more highly rank our stuff. I would hope so, but you just, you never know, right? Um, but yeah, just right here. Boop, and boop. So, Isabel, give us two stars, please, or at least some feedback that's actually a bit more usable than, I really like the fact that nothing's going on around here. All right. Hi, Isabel. How are you? Oh, Zebra, good afternoon. How can I help you today? Let's talk on evaluations. So you're curious about the current image of Stripe? 
Right now, Stripe has a one star rating. Folks are feeling like we still have room for improvement. Allow me to read the an excerpt from, from the feedback I gathered. I like how there aren't any ghosts around. It's a place where we, free spirits like me can just be free. Again, with that. Oh my gosh. So if any of you have any tips for expanding the star power of my house, maybe I should just like look, look it up a little bit and see my house, my village, um, and see if there's anything more I can do. There probably is. I'll just have to figure that out. But for right now, I think that'll wrap up for today's episode. I had a lot of fun. I want to put some uh, money away in the ABD real quick, and then we'll just sort of be wrapped up with that. Uh, so ABD, deposit, and we'll just do 42245. Perfect. So we're getting there, <laughs> getting slowly but surely over to finishing our loan balance and all that kind of cool stuff. But for right now, We've already done everything else I want to do in today's episode, so that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.